What's up guys and welcome to a new three-part series. By the end of this series you'll be able to spout out a plan section and 3D model, which is a really lame joke for a nozzle, but anyways, why don't we go ahead and power up our CAD tools with ultra high pressure and let's get to it. Because guess what? It's nozzle time. Here we go. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. Part two of the nozzle series. No lame jokes in this one. So we're looking at this uh, section here. That's the one we're going to draw on the right side. Like I said in the last video, and you don't have to watch these in any specific order. You can watch them in any order you would like. So if you're just coming into this part two, you can jump back to the part one when you're done. In there, we did the top view plan. So the section is basically like an x-ray view of the model uh, itself, and it's basically like cutting it down the middle. So here we go. We're going to start this out. First thing I'm going to do in AutoCAD is I'm going to figure out what the max width and max height are, okay? So max height, obviously two and a half here based on this dimension, and the max width would be adding these three numbers together because it would go all the way from the left to the right. You could also add these three numbers together. So we got three eighths and one and seven eighths. That becomes two and one quarter. And then adding another one and a half, you get three and one quarter plus a half, three and three quarters. Okay. So two and a half by three and three quarters. So we're jumping to AutoCAD. This is what we're making right here. And we're going to go into a blank document. So grab the line tool, start anywhere, go down on the green line. That green line is F10. It's called polar. Make sure that's turned on. You're going to go 2.5, enter. Then you're going to go to the left. We said 3.75, enter. And then you're going to go up 2.5. And then you can either close that by snapping or you can do C, enter for close. Okay. All right. So now we have the left side, right side, top and bottom of this drawing at its max width and max height. So going back to the plan, we're looking at trying to maybe do this corner first. Uh, we're not going to do the inside detail yet. We're not going to do the drill holes here. We're going to try to get this outside shape first. So let's do some vertical lines using the offset tool going across. This says three quarters. So this little step right here is three quarters. Then it goes one. Then it goes three quarters. Then it goes three eighths. Then it goes seven eighths. Okay. All right. So let's do those offsets. So you're looking at this little C shape tool here. That's offset. You're going to type your distance first. Uh, we're going to go three quarters. Hit escape, hit space bar. That brings you right back into the last tool you were in. One, enter. We're going to go one inch. And then escape, space bar, three quarters. And then the next one is three eighths. And then the last one here is seven eighths. But if I did seven eighths, I would just get a double line on there. You can do it to double check. Seven over eight. And you can see that it does create a double line over there by deleting one. All right, next thing, horizontal lines. We're looking at these dimensions over here. There's a lot of numbers here, but I want to know how far this step goes down. I don't want to know where the drill holes are yet with these numbers. I'm looking at this number, one half, one and a half gets you to this side, and then it should be another half. So let's go one half. We can really just do this on both sides and then we can do like a dim linear to just make sure that this does come out to be one and a half, which it does. Okay. All right. So let's trim as we go here. So we're going to do T R enter, or you can go up to the pair of scissors right up here. Now, rather than going like this one, two, three, four, what you can do instead is go into the trim tool, go cutting edges, click this line and hit enter. And now it'll just cut everything to the left side of that, which does make it a little bit easier. And I can do this as well. These, we can just do a regular trim and go like this. So I hit escape, I hit space bar, I was back into trim, no cutting edges, and just drew a line to touch those different lines and trim them off. I also don't need that and that. Like I said, we'll do the drill holes later. I don't need this. And now I'm at the part where I'm going to come down with a fillet right in here, which is going to be this part. So you can see if this dimension right here says one and one sixteenth, that's how far it is from here to here. It doesn't label what this drop is right here or right there. It does tell you the radius though. So if you know the radius of that fillet, you still don't know the length of this little line right here. 
So we need to figure out what half of 1 and 1 16th is. Half of 1 is 0.5 or 1 half. And half of 1 16th, anytime you're trying to get half of a fraction, you leave the top number alone and you double the bottom number. So this is going to be 1 over 2, and then we got to add 1 over 32 to that. So a little bit challenging here because you have to then take 1 half inch and you got to make that into 30 seconds, which is going to be 16 30 seconds. And then when you add 1 30 second to that, you get 17 30 seconds. Okay. Now, this is a weird number, so we're definitely going to double check our math here. But let's go ahead and do that offset. That's going to be 17 30 seconds. And whoops, we're going to need a line going down the middle first. Let's go back and have that. Uh, offset 17 30 seconds. You're going to go up and down. And then we're going to do a dim linear and check from here to here and make sure it is 1 and 1 16th, which it is. So again, try to keep this tidy. We don't need this because look where this line goes. It goes here, fillets, and goes up. It does not continue this way. So we can get rid of that. And then we need this line here, and it's going to fill it down. So it goes. And then we have this line here that's then going to slant. So I don't need that and that, that or that, because after that slant, it goes straight. This line does not continue past that slant, and this one doesn't continue past the fillet. So that's this, this, and this, that, that, and that. I no longer need this line going across. I can do my fillet here. It says radius 1 16th. So I'm going to go up to my fillet tool right here. I'm going to hit radius at the bottom and do 1 16th. Fill it very easy. You just click two lines, one, two. But be careful because you want to click the line closest to the point where you're doing the curve. So we're going to go here to here. Now, looking at the slant, that's probably the hardest part in this drawing, to be honest with you. So I think when you come up with something like that, you should try to work from a, a different side and then see if you can just connect those two lines afterwards. So I'm looking at these numbers right here now. I have a line going down the middle. All I have to do is go up half of one fourth. And you remember, you just double the bottom number. So that's going to be up one eighth and down one eighth. I didn't want to do the inside stuff yet, but I'm going to need that line here in order to get this line. Unless I just add these two numbers together, 1 8 plus 3 16 but that's not really worth it because we need that line anyways at some point. So we're going to go offset 1 over 8, enter. And we're going to go up and down. Then we're going to go 3 16 because of this number right here, and that's going to go up and down. Now you can see that this point right here gets very easy to connect. I don't need to know the angle. I don't need to know the length of the line. Easy peasy. So again, that was just line, intersection, intersection, or intersection endpoint. If that's not working for you, go to OS, enter, and make sure that intersection is checked. I usually do endpoint, midpoint, center, intersection, extension, tangent. All right, no longer need this line. No longer need this line. I'm going to go ahead and trim the end and the end. All right, so the next part here is trying to figure out this little angle right here. It says it's 45 degrees, but it doesn't tell you how far in this goes, and it doesn't tell you how far this right here is from this blue line to that blue line. When something is 45 degrees, you know that the distance right here and right there has to be the same. So, for instance, it could be 1 16th and 1 16th. Now, how do we figure out what that measurement is? It doesn't say it anywhere on the section plan, but if we go back to our top plan, you can see that the inside most circle is this circle right here. And the next circle out would be from here to here. So you can see that it says one fourth across from here to here. So this most inner circle, this red one, should be one fourth diameter. The next one out is three eighths diameter. Going from 1 fourth to 3 eighths is just adding 1 eighth. So using diameter circles, remember that you're going to have to add something to both sides. You can't add eighth here, eighth here. That wouldn't make any sense. But you can do 1 16th and 1 16th. So the numbers that I was saying earlier are correct. Now, by the way, here's a special shout out to Casey and Jody for being my newest members. 
Casey actually suggested this project for us, so thank you to Casey. If you're interested in having some extra perks on the channel, like project suggestions, shout outs, extra help, and even video collaborations, check out the link in my description to join Team Wizard. So, going back to our plan. We're going to do an offset of 1 16th going in. And we're going to do an offset going up and down. Now, if this is starting to get confusing with all these lines, always think to yourself, why don't I take part of what I just did and change the color? Now, very easy. You get that and that and erase the red lines. They are reference lines. You don't need them anymore. Let's go trim. And you end up with that. Now, let's double check. This should be one fourth. This should be three eighths. All right, moving on, we're looking at the inside now. Okay, so we've got these two lines going across already. That's this and this. And we also have our center line going down the middle. I'm now looking at the bottom most dimensions. These bottom dimensions are telling me where these gray lines are going across. You got a gray line here, gray line there, gray line there. That's what these dimensions are showing. So if I were to go one and one eighth in, that's going to get me to the point where the angle starts. So this is actually pretty easy. Let's go offset. We're going to go one and one eighth. Now, remember, when you're typing a fraction like that or a mixed number, you're going to do one and, which is the minus sign, one over eight. And you're going to take this line right here or that one, it doesn't matter, and go over to the right. That's going to give you this. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to stretch this bottom most node to this point. And it's easy because now I can just take this angle, copy, grab it from the left side, and put that right there. Now, by the way, Anytime you see a symmetrical drawing, meaning the top and bottom are the same or the left and right are the same, we could have just drawn the entire top and mirrored this across, but I wanted to give you the full thing just in case you don't feel comfortable with the mirror tool, which makes me think maybe I should show the mirror tool real quick. So let's go to this one. I'm going to erase the top. I know that the spacing between these here was one fourth based on this number right here. So I'm going to draw a one fourth line off of this corner, one fourth. Now, when I grab all of this stuff and I go to the mirror tool, I want to click the midpoint here and I want to go off to the right and click and it mirrors it over that line that I created. It'll then ask you, do you want to erase the source object? And you hit no, and then you erase your little reference line. Okay. So that's mirroring. All right, back to the drawing. So we got this angle here. That's going to be another copy. I'm going to grab it from the end and I'm going to put it right there. I no longer need this line. Goodbye. I also am going to do a cutting edge trim at this angle and you can do these multiple at a time. Enter and I'm going to trim off that and that because the more we trim, the less confusing it gets. And now guys, as you know, there are many ways to draw the same thing in this software. So I'd really like to hear in the comments what you would do differently and what might be faster for everyone else watching. Let's all help each other. All right, next thing, looking at the angles that we just created, these lines are gonna go all the way down and then do something fun at the end. So for now, I'm just gonna go off of this corner with a line and just draw that down and we will trim the rest later. I also don't need the ends of this line and this line anymore. Now there's only two sections to it, so I don't have to do a cutting edge here. I'm just gonna click on the right side of those lines. We are very close to being done here. All right, next thing, you can see this 1 16th measurement here. That's how far in this little step goes before it goes in again and slants. So I'm gonna do offset 1 16th. All right, so the next question is off of this line, how far down, and that's this line right here, how far down to this line that comes in, goes in, and then slants. So that number is 7 sixteenths from this line down gives you this little line. So offset 7 sixteenths. We're going to go down from that point. That's going to give me my in, which means I don't need that and that. Did not do the other side, so let's do that. 7 sixteenths. We're going to go off of this line, trim that and that. 
I'm going to start opening up this little section here. So we're going to go trim, 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 trim. We can trim these off. We can trim that and that for now. Now do me a favor guys, if you learned something, if you enjoyed the video, especially if you're still watching right now, like and subscribe to see more in-depth content. And why not go a step further and follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And by the way guys, we totally missed a fillet back here, right here. It's gonna be the same as these right here. So fillet, radius, one sixteenth. And we're gonna go here, spacebar brings me back in and there. All right, so it doesn't specifically tell you what this angle is right here, but what you're gonna do is go to these points, okay? So that is looking at this dimension down here. If I were to continue this red line, goes to that corner, that's three eighths off of the very right side. So let's do an offset of three eighths. I'm gonna go off of this line and that line, and that's gonna give me that corner that I was pointing to. And then very simply, all you're gonna do is take this corner and draw it to that corner. And you're gonna take this corner and draw it to that corner. Now let's see what that angle came out to be. Angular, click here and here. And then you can see that inside is 45 degrees as well, okay? Now you need to trim that, that, and that. That, that, that. And now, and we also don't need and now you're at this point, okay? Oh, we don't need this either. Trim, trim, okay? Uh, this part's done, okay? But we do have to do the drill holes up here, which are very easy to do. You're gonna go offset one eighth and then a fourth, and that should leave an eighth, okay? So offset one eighth. Offset one fourth. We're going to trim that open. Offset one eighth. Offset one fourth, trim through, get rid of the middle line, and ta da, the drawing is done. All right, so guys, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. So do me a favor and check out part three. You'll see that at the end on the screen. Later. You're still here? Go check out part three. Later.